So I'm at 325 Rossview Road. Sorry, I'm like kind of starting you up here. It is a mud pit because it's been raining. Um, so, Circle Drive, which is great. Um, that one, I can't remember if that's, I think that one is a, that might be new construction, but it might also be a remodel. That one's significantly smaller than this one though. So obviously you were stationed here five years. I'm sure you know, um, exit eight is kind of a more desirable location. So to find new construction here at 350, especially on an acre is pretty rare. Um, honestly, actually more unheard of. So you're not going to get a garage with this one, but you do have the lot to put a shop in if you wanted to do that <coughs> or even add. So this is your lot line. If you wanted to just put like a deep one car going back, you could do that. But you've got plenty of parking space. Okay, and this is on, um, I don't know if you know where like Pinnacle Bowling Alley is off Warfield, but this is like on that side of Rossview Road. So there is no, like they've done the rough-ins for electric and I think rough-ins for plumbing um, that you do have drywall now, which is great. You've got your HVAC ducts in. So they've been scooting in a boot and so just kind of, you know, trust the process with me a little bit because they don't have, I don't have any lighting. So we're just going strictly off natural light and it is like 5 p.m. So, okay, fireplace. I am not sure if this property is on natural gas or not. You've got some really high ceilings in the entry though, which is great. Really big size living room too. You can fit a really big section on here. Okay. It's hard to tell what noise will be like when it's completed because they have the windows open and there's not even a, a doorknob yet or a door, no door lock. So you've got a bar here. So this is gonna be an overhang where you can put some stools. You can probably fit three 24 inch stools right here. For extra seating, you'll have an island here. Um, right over here, that's gonna be where your oven and stove go, microwave. And then over here will be your fridge. Okay, and then this will be dishwasher and sink. So from the sink, you can look, watch some TV. Okay, and then Back side of the kitchen, this is going to be what we would call your little eat-in part of the kitchen. So if you wanted a, a table, you could put that in here. Over here, this is a coffee bar. Pretty cool they put that in. Tons of cabinetry here. Okay, and then right off the kitchen, you also have a, uh, I guess... No, you don't, not entirely. I was gonna say split bedroom plan, which would make it even more of a rare find. Very desirable floor plan. But here would be the master bedroom. So your room looks out back onto the lot, which is definitely downhill. And again, you have to kind of use imagination with new construction. All of this will be seeded. All right, so in the front, they'll put sod. In the back, they'll put seed and straw. So it's not just gonna be a giant mud pit um, and their debris will get picked up. But you got about nine foot ceilings in here, which is great. So you don't feel like the ceiling is like falling in on you. All right, here's your bathroom. You've got double vanities. This is where your toilet will go. And then a shower tub combo, nothing crazy. Okay, these soft gloves, shaker cabinet, nice. Okay, pretty good walk-in closet. And again, they will put in the rods and shelving. It's just, you know, it's a work in progress right now. But I mean, from the pictures we saw, this is everything they've gotten done in 28 days, which is pretty good. They've gotten drywall, first coat of paint, trim, cabinets, fireplace, um, rough ends on electric and plumbing. It's awesome. And HVAC. So they're moving along pretty quickly. The biggest issue, you know, we usually see with construction is weather bearing. Um, and if things are in stock, so it's good. They've got cabinets, all that stuff in stock. They've just got to do floors and, um, finish up plumbing and electrical. 
Okay, that's your laundry room though. So washer here, dryer there. It's nice that it's actually a room and not a closet. Um, laundry closets kind of suck because then you've got to, you know, have anywhere to actually put your bins and you're just kind of, you just have a closet with a washer and dryer in the hallway. So having an actual laundry room is really nice. So going in down this hallway, this is going to be two of the guest rooms. Pretty good size. Nothing crazy for the closet. It's probably about a five foot in depth closet, five foot wide. Got some really good natural light here. Okay. Right across from that bedroom. This will either be a coat closet or a linen closet. It's hard to tell right now. And in between these two bedrooms is going to be the second full bathroom, single vanity, toilet, shower tub combo, transom window for more natural light. Love that. Okay, this is going to be guest room number two. Again, pretty good size. This one faces the front. You can see on the outside they did a blue, like a cobalt blue board and batten siding. It's really pretty. Okay, French door closet. We've got about roughly seven feet in hanging space in here. So again, they'll put in the rod, but some pretty good hanging space. And again, consistently throughout these bedroom areas, we are seeing nine foot ceilings. Um, when they get too low, it just it feels really crampy. So like where that closet stops, that would be an eight foot ceiling. So that extra foot makes a really big difference in not feeling crammed. I can say that from my own personal experience of our first house to our new house. So this will probably, I'd say due to location of this being next to the front door, I would say that's probably gonna be your coat closet. And the one back down this hallway between the bedrooms is probably gonna be a linen closet. Okay. All right, now third and final guest bedroom. This one would make a great office. You've got the dueling closets. And then this little nook up here. Put a day bed in it or a desk. I think it's a great opportunity to do some built-ins. I would do a built-in day bed with uh, some sort of drawers underneath as a pull-out. Now this one's definitely going to get the most you know, road traffic noise because it's right up here on the driveway. But again, once all the windows are closed and there's no more holes in the door and all that stuff, then uh, noise cancellation should be a lot better. All right, let's go out back. The deck is a work in progress, so I can't really take you all the way out here. All I can really do, and it's a mud pit. So uh, we're going to play a game of uh, balance yourself on the joist. Love that. Okay, nice. All right. So where the mud starts is where your lot starts. Where the mud ends is where your lot ends. So it goes way on back there. Your neighbors have chickens. Okay. Um, but it goes way back. It is, so it levels up top, like right here, it levels. And then it goes down, and then it levels off again. So you kind of got like a, oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Scary. But yeah, you could, on the second level down here, I mean, you could do whatever you wanted. Um, if you wanted to fence in the whole property, you could definitely do that. But you could put, you know, a shop shed down there if you wanted some extra storage space. But it's an acre. Play around on, and it's, you know, you're about... Let's see, five minutes to the interstate, not even, because the interstate is off Rossview Road, just on the other side. I'd say you're about two and a half miles to the interstate, so probably about 25 minutes to post, maybe 30, and then uh, about 10 minutes to Wilma Rudolph. So, closest grocery store is either going to be 
Walmart on Wilma Rudolph or Walmart and Publix on Exit 11 and Sango. That is one downside to Exit 8. It does not have a grocery store. I guess there's actually a Publix up on Memorial too that's pretty close to you um, from or to this house. But you got bowling alley right there. You got the property to play with. Okay, now I'm going to end this because now i got to venture my way back inside.